You know, just between me and you, I, I don't see the need for all of these rules and regulations. Like, what really is the difference between a spa and a chiropractor? You know, just because I can accidentally shatter someone's spine doesn't mean I will. I'm just gonna go ahead and get your pointy head in the right angle. There we go. And we need to breathe in. One, two, three, breathe out! <sighs> What's up guys, welcome to Spa Master, a game about owning and operating a spa. You know, it's a business simulator, it's about providing for people's health and well-being. It's got ads with booty cheek clapping. Now, I don't really know how each of these pieces fit together to make a cohesive game, but I'm looking forward to finding out. Well, I have to assume that this is the grand opening of my brand new spa. I feel pretty good about the fact that there are a whole bunch of customers in line, little concerned with there not being a roof on this building <laughs> and there being a surprising number of ghosts and puppy-sized spiders in the waiting room and Satan being in line but oh, I, I, I'm sorry ma'am I'm not trying to ignore you I swear <laughs> it's my first day this is a little overwhelming what can I help you with you got a problem with your tits or is that a butt could you be more specific? I'm just being told to just size, and I don't know what that means. <laughs> How about you come out back? I I'm sure we've got a specialist here that can help turn you into Captain America. What the hell is this? <sighs> okay, I haven't been to too many spas in my time, but I can guarantee they don't have some kind of laser-aligned titty inflatometer. Which begs the question, am I gonna go to jail for this? Is performing, like, backdoor laser cosmetic surgery legal for a spa? I'm gonna keep going because we've already started. You just say when or fall forward from your awesome. newfound success. Are you happy? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, I got paid in half a fish tank. <laughs> What? I did not think I would say this today, but Satan, I'm actually happy to see you. I don't suppose you could take some of these wandering souls of the damned with you when you go, could you? Maybe as partial payment? Or as a tip or something like that? It clearly won't be the weirdest thing we accept today. You see, this is a bit more normal for a spa. You just came in to get a tan. Because you don't get a whole lot of sun exposure in hell, I guess. I'm tempted to go all the way into the red. I know it's not what he wants, but we could make his skin color match his orn color. That being said, he is a VIP and I kind of don't want to piss him off. So I think we're just going to take this to a happy medium, a nice golden brown so that I could get the other half of a fish tank. Wonderful. Are you going to do anything about the souls or not? Well, would you look at that? I actually got my fish tank. And I can use the money that I'm earning to upgrade and improve the rest of the spa. I don't suppose we could hire an exterminator to get the Tarantulasaurus off my car. I'm just gonna plug my ears and close my eyes and pretend that that doesn't exist right now. Instead, I'm gonna spend my money on improving the cafeteria. Or opening a cafeteria. Okay, we got ourselves a little bar. And that's gonna earn us money over time. Oh, that's interesting. Yes, hello, ma'am. I'm, I'm sorry to keep you waiting, okay? It's been a weird day. What can I do for you? Is that a manicure? Nail care seems awful normal for the way things have been going so far, but sure. Is now a bad time to mention that I have literally no idea how to care for nails? Like, I just bite mine. It got so bad that I chipped my front tooth. She wants me to clean up the nail. I assume that doesn't mean remove it entirely, even though I've got some kind of nailing power tool. Okay, we're just gonna remove the tar layer and then polish? Let's go with a money polish. <laughs> just gonna, oh yeah. Nice. Man, that is classy. The fact that I could do that in one brush stroke, you can really tell that I'm deserving of half an antique phone. Why do I feel like an adult parody of Batman is about to rob me? It says cleaning, and there's a picture of a suitcase. Whatever the hell that means. 
prepare the suitcase for what? Like, was my branding not specific enough? Do people not realize this is a spa? Like, you come here for manicures and pedicures and massages, happy endings if you pay enough and keep it on the down low. But like, you can't just throw your suitcase at me with your slippers and be like, pack this. Or at least you shouldn't be able to. You can because uh, I really need the money and that rotary phone isn't going to finish itself. <laughs> Ta-da! I built an entire room just for this activity. You're welcome, Bat Thought. Day one completes. And what a tanned Satan titty inflating day it was. You gotta wonder why I keep all of my money jam-packed into the top of a piggy bank rather than in one of the multiple safes in this establishment. Oh, it might be because the safe is full. It might be because there's only a thin wall between me and Tarantulasaurus Rex over there, but... I think I'm gonna go and spend some of my money on laundry. I feel like if we're gonna be reusing towels and toiletries, we should probably wash them. Like, no one appreciates renting someone's skid marks. I don't suppose I could use this newly acquired antique phone to call someone up and have them explain to me why this lady wants me to bop her ears. I mean, I'm gonna do it, obviously, but I might want my secretary to get her to sign some kind of waiver. Move the arm. I'm sorry, what? Where did your clothes go? Move the arm? Um... Okay, I've got some kind of dragon radar here. I don't suppose I could use this to- Oh. Okay, yup. Definitely should have got her to sign that waiver. Let's go over here. And... Crack. Oh. No. No, 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 no. I am not qualified for this. Okay, I can tan Satan to a decent color. I can pack people's luggage, but you should not trust me with your joints. Okay, just a uh, hip. Oh my goodness. Ah, good. Yeah. I hope to never have to do that again. We've got ourselves another VIP, and it looks like she wants a mask? Do you think that's like an exfoliating mask or like a, a semi-permanent mask? Because that is one megazord of an eyebrow. Trim eyebrows. Okay, I guess we're just gonna forget about the mask. I'm sorry, I only see eyebrow and I really doubt that this headless electric toothbrush is gonna help me. I need a machete or a lawnmower or a Priest, I would imagine. Okay. Is it really this easy? I don't know what girls are always complaining about. Oh yeah, that took like two seconds. Oh, I see how it is. Once you don't have a jungle on your forehead, suddenly you want the mask. <laughs> All right, well, let's just, uh, oh, let's just uh, apply this to, um, all, all the, the, Problem areas, mm-hmm, yep, this, this is going great. We call this one the Shrek. <laughs> it's a very high quality mask, which I will now immediately remove in one swift motion. Yeah, <laughs> all right. I got a drone. Okay, well, I can confirm that there's a drone buzzing around here somewhere, so I, I guess if someone in line starts causing trouble, then we could just strike them. Thanks, Obama. I'm gonna increase my decor while I'm at it. Hopefully we can get something nice, like a single chair. Wonderful. You want me to clap? Like, I really do wish the people in this neighborhood could use their words. I'm getting one word, massage, but it's just kind of like wafting to my brain like a fart in the wind. <laughs> Lady, the only clapping we do around here are butt cheeks, so unless you want to get drone striked, then you better be down. What happened to your back, lady? Is your husband an octopus? I don't even want to see what's going on with the rest of you, okay? I I'm just going to use my bony hands to work out oh. those problem areas. <sighs> Sounds like I'm slapping you with hot dogs. Mm. <laughs> How is that? Poor oil. I have about as much oil as I do skin, but sure, I I I'll just mm. uh, go ahead and give <sighs> you the old boning on the lower back. This, this is not the boning mm. that I was expecting. You're fine without the oil? 
<laughs> okay, ooh. Mm -hmm. Making some noises that uh, you know, I, I can get on board with. Maybe a little <gasps> a little lower, a little lower. Here we go. Oh, oh. Now we're going to apply the oil. Just uh give you a, a squirt. I do not know what is happening right now. I know this is what spas do, but at the same time, she's just sounding very excited in the nether regions. <laughs> at least I got half a gumball machine. Golly gee willikers, thanks lady. Okay, so I think I'm actually starting to get the hang of how this business works. So we are actually a spa. You know, we do plenty of spa stuff, even if we do it a little bit weird. <laughs> and we're a cleaning service and maybe a cosmetic surgery place, but I'm still not sure about that because it was just that one time and I had better get more use out of that laser aligned teddy inflator. That thing was expensive. Sort towels. I'm sorry, are these my towels or are they that lady's towels? Did she just show up with a shelf full of towels and tell me to sort them? <laughs> How do I sort these? Like, by, by color? We could do something like uh, uh, this? That's sorted. Come on, you gotta be specific. <laughs> if you really care, you, you gotta give me details. Okay, there we go. And, uh-huh, and magical. Okay, well that was totally worth the hundreds of dollars you just paid me. You're not very good with money, are you, lady? Day two completes, and I've somehow managed not to contribute to the number of wandering souls in my building, so I'm gonna consider that a win. I'm not really sure why a spa has a cafeteria to begin with, but I'll be the first to admit, ours kinda sucks. So I'm gonna invest into making it better with uh, a bar for people to sit at. I bought the back half of the bar, now the front half of the bar, just really just nickel and diamond me here. I was about to say, it's rare for men to show up to this establishment, but even rarer for anthropomorphic cats. I don't know what's going on in my line today, but let's get to cracking you first, sir. Oh no. No, please, not this again. Are you sure about this? I am not licensed in any way. Oh, and it's his neck too. This is gonna suck. Okay, no, I, I can do this. I can do this. Everything is fine. We're just gonna give you a crack. Oh, oh yeah. so good. That did not look good. It looked like I may have killed him. I don't get it. What am I supposed to do with your fingers now? You just want me to slide them up. Oh! Oh! <sighs> Do fingers do that? I'm like 95% sure fi fingers, fingers don't do that. That shouldn't feel good. There shouldn't be a crack oh, yeah. there. <laughs> I don't need to be good at my job to know that much. All right. He can only do this now. He's gonna live the rest of his life like a lobster. Catwoman, I'm not gonna ask what the hell you are or what you want me to do. All I'm gonna say is stay away from my secretary. I, I, I swear to God, if I see her in your mouth, I'm gonna lose my damn mind. Okay, so the good news is it seems like only her head is a cat. The rest of her was a suit. <laughs> so she's probably got normal human titties on the front. Hopefully not like six or eight of them. <laughs> She wants me to what? I'm I'm just nice. gonna. Nice. Is that nice? What 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 am I doing with nice. these? Okay. Um. Oh. Sweet. Oh. It's it's like it's cupping. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm sorry. Sorry. I I, I didn't even Sweet. realize what I was doing. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was some great kitty cupping. You are welcome. What did you just give me? It, it looks like a, a mix between a, a Roomba and an old lady. Well, whatever it is, it's just gonna sit there in the hallway, I, I, I guess. If we're just gonna have stuff sitting around, then I might as well upgrade my decor some more. Maybe we could put another chair next to it. Great, just fill the hallway up with crap. That's how you decorate. Lady, I don't usually tell people what they should and shouldn't do with their own bodies, but could I interest you in a bigger bum? Like, uh, I feel like the advertising lied to me. 
Believe it or not, laser-aligned inflation isn't exactly difficult, but I'm curious what would happen if I screwed things up on purpose. <laughs> I, I know you can go too small. She, she wants bigger, but what if we go all the way and we don't stop? <laughs> Are they just gonna explode eventually? <laughs> <laughs> She's making a whole bunch of happy noises. Okay, uh, we're gonna throw a breaker soon if we don't cut this off. How about that? Sweet. Good? Oh my you are now just walking tits. I'm sorry. I mean, I've already got two washing machines that seem to be doing perfectly fine. You know, they, they might be a touch haunted, but that's not a big deal. What exactly is $3.6,000 gonna do to improve that? Oh, okay, I, I got a little press station. So now not only will the towels be poopless, but they'll also be flat. <laughs> I don't think those two are equivalent. Um, hi, miss. I, I see that you're a VIP from all of the money wafting out of your pores, but why aren't you wearing clothes? <laughs> Usually people take them off after I bring them out back. It, it, you want me to give you a shampoo? Can you not get a shower at home? I mean, in all reality, it doesn't matter if my spa offers this service or not. Like, in what world is a guy gonna say no to a pretty girl asking, will you help me shower? <laughs> you just say when you want the shampoo to stop. Because we don't buy by the bottle, we buy by the barrel. <laughs> I could drown you in shampoo up here. Just gonna, oh, there we go. Okay, good. And then we'll lather all of those boogers out. Am I actually doing anything? Oh Excuse me? I'm pretty sure I just watched. Hold up a minute. W wasn't there someone else in line in front of you? Hi, yes, I see you, but th there's only two more people after the shower lady. I, I usually get at least four customers in per day. Hopefully he didn't die and join the rest of the souls. <laughs> you want to meditate? Oh yeah, I can help you with that. You just go ahead and make yourself comfortable on the floor there, okay? I, I, I promise not to crack your neck or make your city's bigger. Okay, she seems to have transported herself to a different plane, and she's got a brain full of words, most specifically, lust. Oh, no bad thoughts. Okay, so we'll get rid of the bad thoughts, and we'll we'll keep the good ones. Got it. Okay, oh no wrath, gosh. no evil, peace. Yes, yeah, okay. Envy, no. Wow. I thought that said thrust. Nice. Yeah, nice. nice. Dirty words are okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh that that was a, a 15 second meditation. That, that'll cost you a lot of money and half a dehumidifier. It's been a while since I've given someone a tan. Lady, are you sure you don't want to go with the tanning booth though? Rather than the spray tan? It's got great reviews from Satan. I mean, you're already kind of dark. I feel like I'm just going to make you look like a sweet potato fry. Oh, it's skin care. Yeah, whatever you want to tell yourself, lady. Okay, well, we're just gonna mm. spray you down. Mm. I hope that color isn't permanent. That is very green. Okay, mm. oh, you get a little on your face, too. There we go, we'll get a whole bunch in the no-no spots, just the very important Ooh. areas. Make sure, good skin there, and you're coated. Sweet. That's it. You're just gonna leave looking like that. Wait, what? <laughs> I figured we would wash it off and then we would scrub and exfoliate, but I, I just made her leave looking like a candy. I was about to say, uh, I'm gonna start being a little bit more selective with my clientele. You know, I'm gonna turn away people who wanna do boring stuff like meditating or whatever, but a witch that wants me to burn her at the stake seems interesting. Oh, it's a sauna. Well, you could have been more specific. You went and got my hopes up. Oh, uh, you want to start with what? Like 40-ish degrees? Okay. Oh, uh, whoop, whoop. Care careful, careful. Just gonna get, get right, right around, right around. I I'm still awesome. curious what would happen if I screw things up on purpose. Like, what if I boil the witch? What if we would just go a little mm. bit too hot? Mm -mm. That, that a bad thing? Oh. Oh, you can actually fail. Well then, I'm not gonna lie, I was kinda hoping she would boil like a lobster rather than whisper a hex at me, but whatever. 
I don't know how to address the fact that a lady just walked into my establishment asking to have all the meat hosed off her body. Other than, come on, let's go. Well, the good news is something about the steam in here seems to have helped the meat decompose into boogers, but I still don't know if I should be doing this. Oh, th this is not an easy thing oh. to control. <laughs> Lady, mm -hmm. you do realize if you just wanted to get hosed down up against a wall, you could have went to prison. Hold on a oh. second. Can we take a look at that hand? What is going... The hand was through her body. Hmm. I'm calling shenanigans here. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, let me just get it off your, your face. I, I think. Am I doing a good job? Oh. Let me just get right on the face. There we go. <laughs> now you look human again. Congratulations. Again, should I be worried? I already got enough jail problems. I don't pay taxes. Oh, Maleficent, it's nearing the end of the episode. You showed up at the wrong time asking for me to do the wrong thing. You know, just between me and you, I don't see the need for all of these rules and regulations. Like, what really is the difference between a spa and a chiropractor? Just because I can accidentally shatter someone's spine doesn't mean I will. I'm just gonna go ahead and get your pointy head in the right angle. There we go. And we need to breathe in. One, two, three, breathe out! She's fine! But you know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Spa Master, guys. And I gotta say, the game has a lot of promise. You know, it's genuinely funny, it's weird, it's different, but it, just the way they implement ads is horrible. I spent four real world dollars to remove ads from the game, and yet I still saw an ad before, after, and sometimes during every single customer interaction. It, it's just ridiculous. You play for 30 seconds and then you watch an ad for 30 seconds. It, it's not worth it. But if you guys want to see more random games like this, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment, let me know, and I'll return to crack some necks again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.